a couple of minutes as we continue with Jay King here as part of our great big Tucson Gem event. live television. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta change out jewelry whenever I can. I'm Suzanne Runyon. I hope you are having a fantastic, fantastic day. Hey, please don't forget, I'll tell you a little bit later, I got my live Facebook show coming up tonight. But I'll give you the scoop on that in just a minute. But let me give you a sneak peek of our do with Jay King joining us live from Tucson, Arizona. This is part of our really fun annual Tucson Gem event. This year we've made it bigger and better than ever. It's actually a multi-day event. I know I have Chaco Canyon coming up. I also have um, Connie Craig Carroll's gonna join us from Tucson. We just got a lot of fun stuff and check this out. Oh, that's such a good shot, Chris, of that. We're gonna give you a sneak peek at a couple of items. This is a brand new launch. And once again, it is for those of you who love the exotic, you love something wildly different. You know, you want the clothing, you you want the jewelry that just stands out, right? Because that's your personality. This one is a brand new launch of what's called Red Leopard Skin Quartzite. So this Red Leopard Skin Quartzite, we do have the matching earrings to go back to it. That's gonna be coming up. Five flex and free shipping all hour long. It is the very first time you're getting a peek at that. And then I have another super surprise. Now last hour I didn't show it to you guys and the necklace sold out once we got to it. But I'm gonna show you this one right off the bat because I want you to go as fast as you can. You ready? Let me tilt it forward. I wanna help out everybody in our cameras. You ready? Dun 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 Here we go. Dun 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 <gasps> Okay. Look at this. Now. Again, I said this earlier, I've been blessed to work with Jay for so long. I have never seen him do anything bigger and bolder, and honest to God, it's the real deal. This is not plastic. First off, I just bought from Jay, probably three months ago, the most gorgeous Labradorite bracelet. Love it. It was kind of a little beaded guy. This is a hundred times more bold. And we're at 139.98, down from 168 for this day only, More li most likely this hour only. And then, how many of you love your amber. I love wearing bold amber because it's so lightweight. That's so wonderful. We have the amber version. Now, both of these are available right now. They're literally for this day only, but I don't think they'll last the whole hour. Look at that. I've never seen Jay do a bolder stretch bracelet ever, ever, ever. So comfortable because it moves with you. You've got that coolness of the Labradorite. Super high grade. Can you see that? And then, of course, you got that lightweight, beautiful, I just think gorgeous feel of wearing amber as well. Those are coming up. I've got less than 400, the clock starts now. All right, so what we're gonna do first and foremost is we're gonna take another look at a really popular today's special. This one is retro. Uh, you, they haven't even mined the stones. The last time they did was in the 80s. So you're talking vintage, one of the most collectible turquoise in the world, it's called Hubei. And this is another look at this beautiful necklace and a few of my matching pieces. jump into another look at a really sensational, sensational today special. I couldn't be more thrilled to be able to show this to you because it is so unique and it's so collectible and it's magical. If you ask me, I think Hubei is absolutely magical. Now, how rare is it to get Hubei? Well, um, it's not been mined. The last time it was mined was in the 80s and Jay's gonna share the story in just a second. The problem is, is the only way to find it is little hidden dusty places because you just, you won't even find it at your normal like turquoise store in the mall or if you happen to have a turquoise boutique in your town, you're basically not gonna find Hubei and if you do, it is 
vintage Hubei and you will spend a fortune trying to get your hands on it. Well, Jay did what he can only do. He, he put his magic out there and was able to bring us this incredible today's special. And here's what I appreciate so much. It's not little baby chips that you can't see. And that's typically what a lot of people would do if they could even find Hubei. They'd make little teeny chips and they'd put them on a little string necklace and sell it to you for a fortune. He used, again, starts smaller, but gradually gets much bigger to the very front of this beautiful vintage Hubei stone. Now, here's what I have remaining in the matching pieces. If you notice, the cuff is off my wrist. The cuff is now sold out. Andre, let's do an update, if you will, on the ring, because it's got to be really limited now. There are 40 left, 40 total. I have size 9, I have size 9, 10, and 11, so I've got three sizes left. That's your last look at the ring. It is sizable, so you can do that as well if you need to. In my button earrings, I have 120 pairs left. That looks like it's gonna be gone here in just a couple of minutes. I do have my dangle. I'm, a, I'm okay on the dangle. I actually have a little bit more in the dangle earrings. That, for me, is quite frankly an exact match because they were able to use that graduated and variety of colors in the dangle earrings. So that is the update on the matching pieces. And now Jay's gonna tell us about this magnificent necklace. So Jay, I have to tell you, I was really tickled. I could not believe you pulled off bringing in Hubei again. Uh, you and I were both amazed. <laughs> so <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> I don't know who was more amazed. But, you know, uh, to the fact that, uh, you know, like if, if you are going to see Hubei, you're, you know, you're exactly right. I mean, you're going to see a lot of small pieces and chips and things like that. That's all that's all that's out there. If they can even find that. Um, it's basically, you know, based, it's saw scrap, right? It's it's things that, that were left over. And that's not what this is. Um, but we went to every every lapidary shop that we know of, right, that ever cut this rough material. And we ask them, do you have anything anywhere? If you go to anybody's warehouse who's been, been in business uh, for as long as we've been in business, everybody's got things tucked in corners that they're just, you know, they just don't deal with. It, it, you know, when you're cutting the material, you, you got great material in, you're, you know, you're cutting your, um, Mainly with Hubei, it wasn't even beads. They cut cabochons. Uh, uh, there were there weren't a lot of beaded uh, necklaces done in the Hubei. It was mainly mainly cabs. And what we found is people had barrels. Not you know, and I'm not talking tons and tons. Just they'd have a few barrels of Hubei, big pieces of Hubei in most cases, but they they didn't uh, have a lot of color in them, or they, on the outside, they appeared to have a lot of host rock. And so what we did is we negotiated that, we put all that material together. They took the time and effort. And uh, like I said, we went in and we took the material, we started cutting it to get inside, to see what was actually in there. And then we did what they call cobbing. We cobbed out all the high grade material and we just got rid of all the low grade material so anything we lost over 70 percent of our of our rough material um just of the rough material that we acquired just in the cobbing of it so we only had about 30 percent of that and of course you're not going to get a 30 percent yield then we went in we selected all the materials in the different sizes and we decided okay what size beads that we could cut, what size cabochons we could cut, and then we designed from there. We, we really doubted that we were going to have enough to pull off a Today Special in this. We wanted yeah, to does. desperately, <laughs> but we just didn't know if we could do it. But look at the quality. I want you to see the quality of this. And you saw the quality here. These are my specimens uh, from the 70s. And you, you see, th these are my specimens from the 70s. And you can see in this material, you can see all these different colors. And these were my original specimens. So this isn't, this isn't saw scrap. This isn't junk. This is really, really high grade material. And that was one of the things that, that we decided to do. We're only gonna go with the high grade. We're not gonna go with a bunch of low grade material that just to get a better yield, and then you've got something that doesn't look good. We wanted something that really, we, we thought, to be honest with you, we didn't think we were gonna get very many of these. And so we really just were going for the ut utmost in quality. That's all we were trying to do. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we put these on, I know we're well over, we were well over half sold out this morning before we even started the show. When these are gone, guys, 
they're gone. There is no second drum roll here. Um, <laughs> no matter no matter how much I would love to do it, I just have to tell you, just to do this, this has been three years, right, Suzanne? Three years since we've been able to do anything like this. Right. Um, yeah. Would I have done it sooner? Absolutely, okay, but it's just not doable. And to, to actually put this together, together, like I said, it took a, it was a labor of love. It took a lot of time, it took a lot of effort. And not only that, it burned a lot of, a lot of manpower up because we had to actually have people, just all they did was cut this um, raw, the raw material and then try to cut the best of the best out of that and not, and, you know, not have any of the low grade material. So it was very, very time consuming. And then uh, just to be able to design something big and bold, and you brought up, which I just love about you, is the fact these aren't little teeny tchotchke beads, right? I mean, these center beads, like this, they're massive. They're and that's what we did. We used, kept the big material. We made massive beads with it. We didn't cut it into a bunch of small beads. We made it, you know, kept the larger uh, larger yeah. sizes of rough material. We wanted to keep it big. We wanted to keep it bold. Look at that, you guys. I mean, seriously. It's, again, you know, I think because you're at home, let me show you. I, I want to do my colors first. When we think turquoise, a lot of people think, oh, great, 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 denim, denim, denim. Of course. Yeah, it makes sense. But then I want you to see, I use that as a brighter green. That is all of you guys. So again, how many of us have really gotten into that whole olive trend camo? It'll work fantastic with camo. It'll be, you'll be shocked at how cool. If you have olive tops that you wear, maybe you bought from Diane Gilman or Marla or any of our fat Iman, this is going to look amazing with olive, but look at it with brown. Look how transformative this one piece is when I just put a different color underneath it. Now all of a sudden all the brown pops that you see in those uh, retro vintage or uh, Hubei. Then let's do spring and summer. Now look what happens. Look, that almost looks minty green right there when you see it. And it picks up on the lighter colors and the lighter colored stones. So again, I think this is one of those necklaces and we've all done it. We bought a necklace and you're like, okay, I can only wear it with that one outfit because it just doesn't work with anything else. That is not the characteristics of this. This one you can wear with tons. I love it. Um, Valerie, hello Valgan. Uh, Valerie's wearing kind of a rust color, kind of like a, like a dark rust or orangey rust. And all of a sudden, completely different experience when you change that. If she put on navy blue, again, this would transform. And I think of all the turquoises that are out there, the Hubei is just so exquisitely distinct. And for those of us like you who love jewelry, that's what we crave. We want to invest in those unique pieces. And you must remember, it's a this day only today special, which means it's good for basically one day and that's it. And unfortunately, when the day is over, the price jumps and we don't want to go up. Who wants to spend more? but you would spend almost $200. And I dare say, if you were in some dusty Taos, New Mexico jewelry store, and you saw this beautiful case, and you looked in and you saw some vintage Hubei, it would not be $149.98. I can almost guarantee you that. I've been there, Hubei is exquisite, but it's so unbelievably deliciously rare. That's what we love. We want the stuff that nobody else can get their hands on. And this is a beautiful example of what Jay has done. And again, and most Hubei, if you would see it at all today, it would be these little pieces. See these little guys in the back? That's what everybody else would do. That's all they could do. Look what Jay has done. These are the largest uh, pieces in the front, and they're just absolutely massive. But you get the uniqueness, you get the rare opportunity to have a Hubei piece, and it is, it's vintage. And people who love turquoise, they'll stop you in the airport and say, you're wearing Hubei, aren't you? Because it is one of the most sought after and collectibles of all the turquoise because everybody who's into this, they realize how incredibly rare it is. That's why it's exciting for hosts like us. We get kind of jaded over the years because we do a lot of jewelry here. But when you see Hubei coming in your show, you're like, oh, heck yes. And trust me, being on in the afternoon, I was thrilled I even had it left. Now, now, just an update, the cuff we had is already sold out. I warrant, kind of warned you that these pieces were gonna go. So the cuff is sold out. The ring is almost completely gone. My button earring, which is right here, that's almost completely gone. I have just a couple hundred more left in the drop. And I think the drop is really magical because it truly mimics the look of the necklace. So if I were gonna go for an earring, especially if those buttons go, I wouldn't hesitate one bit to grab the little drop earrings that we have available. So if you're having your team, a J, Hunt for the Hubei. What was the reactions from the people they actually found it at? Well, most of you have to understand, to them, 
um, you know, it was just material that, that, you know, that they had back. They, you know, they, they're just cutters and, um, you know, it's, it's, time and money. And uh, like I said, with the material, if you would have seen the barrels that we got, it's, it's, um, it's almost like every, all of it was huge material, but it was um, our pretty good sized material, but it, it's like opening a Christmas package, right? Um, you know, you, you cut it open and, or if you open your Christmas package, you're either really, really happy and surprised, or like you're, you're hating the people that sent that to you, right? <laughs> that's, kind of, that's kind of the reaction that was that's that's so kind of sad when they did this because some of it, oh my gosh, you know, they opened these up and it was just like amazing. I mean, the amount and the quality of the material. And then a lot of it, to be honest with you, like I said, we called over 70% when we called this out. But, you know, for, uh, for people who don't know the Hubei story and the legacy of Hubei, it's really, really, uh, uh, an, um, it's an amazing historical um, um, uh, material as far as turquoise. You know, in the in the 70s, uh, pretty much all the turquoise I worked with, in fact, 100% of the turquoise uh, in the early 70s I worked with all came from American mines. Uh, there was actually over 26 different um, deposits that I and mines that I that I actually worked with in the 70s. Oh my gosh! Uh, and there was not, you didn't have turquoise in Chile. You didn't have turquoise in Mongolia. You didn't. You had it, but you know it wasn't on the market. You didn't have Mex uh, uh, turquoise from Mexico. That none of that was on the market in the 70s. It was only American mines. So all of a sudden, um, there was this rumor of this material, and we started seeing it, of this material that was coming from China, this Hubei material. And it was so unique and so different. Now, you have to understand, the boom in the 70s, you know, your parents, yes, you know, yes. uh, in the 70s. I mean, it was all Huge. about turquoise. In fact, 76 was the bicentennial stone, was, was turquoise. Mm -hmm. And so okay. what started happening, you started seeing this material, and then you, you, uh, it, there was more and more of it. And what it was was there was this strike in Hubei. And China at that time, for, so people that don't know this, was a closed society. Okay, I mean, it's not like it is today where you can um, you can get in. I mean, back then, uh, you know, Westerners, any, you know, you just weren't allowed in, even in the country um, until they uh, they uh, Shenzhen opened up. You weren't even you weren't even allowed in the in the country. And so what happened was there was American miners and American lapidaries cutters that actually got wind of this. They went over. They were allowed in. Um, and, you know, you have to understand when they went into Hubei region, this is the first time that these people had ever seen uh, Westerners at all. I mean, these guys are pioneers. I mean, they they, they did something which was, um, I'm really, you know, like I've talked I've talked to these guys. I, I know a lot of them. I'm, I've, you know, known them most of my adult life. And they tell stories, which I'm not going to tell you on air. I don't, <laughs> number one, I don't have time. But I've got to tell you, it was... Uh, it, it was not easy. It was pretty bizarre, actually. And they, yes. they went in. They actually showed them how to mine it. They showed them mining techniques. They showed them how to grade the material. Then they showed them how to cut the material. So if it wasn't for Americans, this material would have never, ever, um, ever come to light or come to the market. It came to America. The, the raw material, like I said, majority of the material that, that you used to see only came in, in two ways. It either came in the rough form, which was unusual, or they cut big free-form cabs out of it. That was the, the majority of the material came. Very, very few beads were ever cut out of this material in the earlier days. And then it all shut down. In the early 80s, they closed the mine, they closed the area, um, and it just they just turned off the faucet on it and it was just shut down and has been shut down ever since. So um, there was there was a period of over a decade, if not even longer, that you saw no Hubei on the market at all. Right, right. We were fortunate in bringing um, into what 2000 it's 2020. And, the last time yeah, we in, did a Hubei Today special was 2020. Yeah, in 2020 and 2019, we uh, 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 Simon, his uncle, uh, finally fessed up and he had a private he had some hidden. <laughs> he got that. You ought to see him when, when they went in that room, we, you know, like, it was like, when they sent me photos, I went, you got to be kidding me. Yeah, I like mean, this guy literally had this squirreled away, like behind the behind the uh, brick wall type thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, isn't it? Yeah, that, wait, just, no, it's, it's that it. photo. Isn't it that photo right there? 
Yeah, it's in the, it's actually in that area. That's the who um, that is the mine. You're right. looking at the door. That's that's what they call is that is the golden door. Do you know that as a Westerner, I can't even go there. But it's not just me. That um, most of most of the native uh, people of China, yeah, very very few people are even let into the Hubei region, that's and you have to be invited. In fact, Simon was invited because they're putting in this massive. Uh, they're spending millions of dollars on it. Actually, they're putting in this um, massive museum to honor uh, the miners and the history of the Hubei uh, turquoise. It's that important. And you can see Simon, Simon's the, um, the uh, Kelly's in the red shirt. Simon is the older gentleman with the gray hair, silver hair. And that was taken in 2019 is oh, when that wow. photo was taken. And he was the one that actually, it was his uncle, it's the Chu family that actually owned and operated um, the mine. There's Simon in the oh, early cool. 70s when he started bringing a turquoise to the United States, that is, and that so, was his American partner. And think about that, that's when China was completely closed to Westerners. I mean, you couldn't even get in. So think no, about you could just get culturally, in. think about culturally yeah. how significant that is. That's why they're doing the museum. Um, Jay, I do have to get an update. Guys in the ring, almost completely sold out. So I just gave you one last look. It's a huge cab on the front, and then tons of sterling silver on the sides, obviously. You can adjust it a little bit if you take it to the jeweler. I have 50 left. I'm sure I have it maybe in two or three sizes. Oh, it's size 10. So so if you wear a size 10 or you want to adjust it a little bit, that's what I have remaining there. In the button earrings, these are also almost gone pierced ears, of course. There's fewer than 100 here. I'm pretty decent shape still with the matching earrings, the exact match. Oh, we're under 1,000, though. We've sold about 600 in just this show. So, and again, I'll tell you why I like these, because it really does genuinely look very, very much like the Today Special. All of it's Hubei, but I really like it because they were able to play with the colors to match back to the neck that you're picking up. So basically after this hour, uh, all the up upsells or matching pieces will be gone, except for maybe I'll have a little bit more here, but everybody's gonna run to those once my other earrings sell out. All right, so here we go. I uh, just wanna tell you, by the way, it's 18 inches. You do have a two and three quarter inch sterling silver, silver extender on the back. Now last hour, if you missed out, we had an unbelievable offer. It was so much fun, and this is on our multicolor sapphire. I want to give you one more quick last look. So here's an update for you. Here it is. It's on sale. We have five flex and free shipping. Andre, how many do I have left? How many have we sold? Can you kind of give me a quick update on this one? It's the first airing. We actually launched it last hour. You've never seen it before. It is amazing. There's less than 200 now remaining. That is it, that's all I have. There's your extender on the back. What I wanna point out is, so many of you over the years have asked for, I want more color. Color equates to more versatility, right? It matches more things in your wardrobe. He did it in sapphire, and not little teeny, teeny seed beads like you see kind of here in the back. He did them, there's the back. Most people would do this if they were playing with expensive sapphire. No, no, he did that. That's the front of it. So gradually, it obviously gets bigger. There are less than 200 now remaining. If you happen to miss last hour, I just want to make sure you saw it because it's real sapphire, which is one of the kings of all king stones, right, in gemstone world. And it's beautiful and it's colorful. And I think you're going to get a lot of wear out of it. So that's the update there. All right. What are we doing next, Andre? Oh, well, good, let's do this. So tonight I will return, but I actually return in a very different format. I will be on our Facebook page, and it's, um, if you go to HSN's Facebook page, you're gonna be able to click on this and join the fun. And it's only on Facebook, and it's all about being creative. It is wildly different than what we do on the air. And we feature new products, we're gonna take a look at a brand new category that I've never shown in the show, and I have hundreds of you from around the world who join me for it, so make sure to check that out. I will be on Facebook. Facebook Live at 8 p.m. tonight. Coming up around the corner, guys, what are we doing? Oh, my surprises are this day only. It's coming up. Worry about one less thing with our Protection Plus plans at HSN. Electronics, fitness equipment, even jewelry can be covered. Shop smarts and protect your purchase. It's easy to add when you're checking out. Search Protection Plus at hsn.com for more details. The HSN deal is a great value that we bring to you every day. Thanks to our long and valued partnerships with the brands you love most, we are able to offer amazing products at great values. Shop the HSN deal with confidence from us to you.
Fez. <laughs> Welcome back to the HSN pregame show. What do you got, Tina? Well, Ty, we're doing it again. We won't have just one, but more than 10 today's specials all day on the Big Game Sunday. High performance deals from DG2, Beekman, and Bissell. And let's not forget division champions Colleen Lopez, Iman, and Origami. For more on this, we go to Sarah. It's going to be a blitz of savings from Dr. Nasa Phillips and Ninja on the field. Back to you, Ty. It's your chance to score during today's super special Sunday, February 12th. Don't miss it. Ooh, I wish I could make my room look cute like that. It's easy. Something simple like my Clover by Joe Throw can make a room feel so warm and cozy. I never put much thought into those details. The details are everything. At HSN, you'll find amazing home decor, demos, and styling tips. And our demos are online, so you can easily window shop anytime, anywhere. HSN.com. I do there is no trend I think that's what's really cool about it we set the trend we take something that normally people wouldn't even think about and we create a beautiful piece of wearable art I'm Suzanne Runyon. I hope you're having an awesome day. I know I am. I love it when we do our big Tucson event. There's just such excitement built around it. And it's a multi-day event. Jay King is joining us live from Tucson. He's, he's specifically set himself up in a brand new area today so we could see that look at the background. It's gorgeous and we have a wonderful show. I've got a lot of brand new launches still coming. We get super excited about that. Hey guys, I want to update our This Day Only. Are you ready? These are coming up. Jay has never done anything like this in a stretch bracelet, ever. And I got in and I almost squealed. I was like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. The most popular right now is this incredible Labradorite. Even from your screen at home, I hope you can tell how incredible the quality is. I have 300 remaining. We've already sold 100 from the preview. Stretch, it moves, it's flexible, gorgeous. The other option you have is the least available, which is this amber, and I love how dark and rich it is. I have a little over 300 left in the amber. We've sold 50 of these. And again, if you love lighter weight, but a really bold design, always want to add amber to your collection because it's just super, super lightweight and looks great. So those are still coming up. That is my this day only, which means the price is good for today, but I don't think it's gonna last all day. You'll see these in about 15. All right, so now we're gonna move on to another launch. I promise you we'd have a lot of exciting brand new items you've never seen before. We gave you guys a sneak peek at this and it is incredible. Can you imagine if you're just walking along the sidewalk in your town and there was a jewelry store you walked past 50 million times and all of a sudden you sold this in the in the window you'd be like I gotta go in and find out what that's all about. This is called the Red Leopard Skin Quartzite. And there's two pieces to this. You have the really big, bold necklace that I just put on and Val's gonna wear. And we have the matching earrings, which is a really elongated te teardrop with that sterling silver shepherd's hook. In the earrings, I have about 200 to go around. And again, first time seeing it. I don't know how Jay did this, but our HSN deal is spectacular for everything you're getting and the amount of gemstone you're getting at 164 with the earrings being 64.25. Jay, okay, where in the world did you discover red leopard quartzite? This is a brand new mine find. It's a material that comes out of South Africa. No kidding. And uh, here again, I, you know, it, uh, GIA, we tested it. It's a form of quartzite. Um, the red leopard skin actually came from the miner. <laughs> that's, so that's what they call it. And so um, we, you know, we always try to use their names. You know, a lot, you know, for people that haven't shopped with mine finds, a lot of the materials that we use in our show are so unique and they're actually mine finds. I mean, they're the first time that anybody's even uh, found them or put them in, they even thought about putting them in jewelry. And a lot of times they don't have a name and um, we have to come up with a name for them. Um, this material is so unique. I mean, the patterns in this are just to die for. The color of it is just incredible. Um, and it's it's a natural material. This isn't, um, they haven't done any kind of color enhancement process or anything. All we did was we took the natural rough, we cut it. One of the things that we specialize in, and I think, um, you know, 
my theme when I design is go big or go home, right? <laughs> now, not everybody agrees with that, you know, so that's why we, there's a, we have a team of designers. We, we, don't, we don't buy any, um, uh, anybody else's designs. We don't bring any other designers into our, um, into our family. We design everything in-house. We do, in this case, we do all the lapidary work in-house, all the silver works done in-house. So it's all done under our roofs so we can not only control um, the quality, but we can also control the production and how it's produced. So um, this is just amazing, but don't you, don't you find this natural material just intriguing? Exquisite. And look at the size of it, it's and, but it's just natural. It's so intriguing, it's amazing. Yeah, I mean, you had to have been tickled when you polish it up and see what the results are, and you're like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. I mean, this is for those, again, you who really love the unusual, the distinct, the very, very different. Now, here's what's interesting, guys. Um, Chris, I'm going to pull this back to my necklace, and I want you to see these two versus what Valerie's wearing, because no two, this is nature's paintbrush. No two will be exactly alike, but look what you could get. I mean, each of these almost remind me of mahogany color, like that deep, rich mahogany and then you've got swirls of creamy ivory in there look at you've got your tans oh thanks chris that's awesome so that's all three we have on the set no two are alike but they're all three spectacular you know it's not like you all oh, i got one good one but don't show the other one it looks kind of bad right they are just breathtaking and unique and exciting and fun to wear and again i think what you're going to really appreciate is i've got denim on so great it works right but think of all the array of colors you can wear back to this. It can go very spring summer because you've got those swirls of ivory in there, that kind of latte ivory. But then as you go into the fall and then we get all of those golden tones that we love in the fall, the leaves that are burgundy, the oranges, the browns, all that cool stuff, it's going to look equally as impressive. So even if you wear it right now with a brown turtleneck or maybe, maybe you have this gorgeous cow neck in a creamy ivory color, it's going to be so much fun. So stay on the line for that one. Again, we're 18 inches. You do have the extender on the back so you can really play with that when you're wearing it and of course it is still available uh, until I let you know when it's sold out although unfortunately it is getting kind of limited that's such a cool piece I love that all right, we're going to move straight on because now we have more new launches I do want to give you a quick update on the matching pieces that go with our today's special Yep, you all grab the ring. The ring is completely sold out. So what I have left that matches back to the today's special is in the button earrings, I have 80 remaining. And then your best bet if you want to get anything that matches it now is going to be my trio, one, I guess it's a quad, uh, drop earring. So I've got, I'm doing pretty good in these, but again, this probably could be your last look in the matching earrings. But tonight when they do the last look at the today's special, this earring is going to be the only option of all the matching pieces that we had but in this one only 80 I don't think those will be here a little bit later just want to let you know all right so Jay we're going to go in a completely completely different direction this is another new launch it's absolutely brand new and we decided yep we're going to put it on sale which is great so originally this is 228 that's our awesome deal but we're now today making it 189.98 and we have actually three choices we have the aquamarine so cool because we love aquamarine you're seeing it right there there's the aquamarine there's your malachite that gorgeous green malachite i love there's 200 left here in the malachite that's almost gone and then we have finally the kunzite which is that beautiful soft pink i have 160 size on this oh wow two and a half inches long, one and a half inches wide. Jay, this is totally different than some of the other pieces we've seen in the show so far. Well, it's massive. It's part of our gallery collection, but these are the things that, you know, to be honest with you, know, if, if you went, if you came out here and you, and you went to the Southwest, you went to the galleries, or if you went to the fashion boutiques and um, you would, you know, these are, um, the types of look, not this, uh, uh, you know, exact look, but these are the kind of looks that um, that you would see. I mean, they're truly gallery pieces. And um, to be honest with you, you would see a probably a number, a couple of numbers in front of the the first number. <laughs> and this, I mean, you know, when you, if you go and buy um, in uh, those galleries, which it's uh, they're well worth it, and that's what the normal price would be if you didn't. Uh, uh, we just have an advantage is you're kind of buying mine direct here and you're buying factory direct um, it, because we are the manufacturers. I just love this. Look at the size of this. 
Okay, this is massive. Look at all the silver presence in it. And then look at the quality of the kunzite, of the aquamarine, or the malachite. There, it's all super, super high-grade material. They're all natural materials, and um, we kept them natural. None of them have been treated. They're not color-enhanced. So you're getting that natural look, and you're getting that big, bold silver presence. And again, these are all individually handcrafted from scratch, from the raw materials, one at a time, piece by piece. They're, they're not mass produced and they're very, very limited. It's not like we make thousands of these, okay? okay. These are for the gallery run, they're limited editions. And so uh, when, when, we, when we, do, we do them, we do them one time and then that's it. We never go back and revisit this, we design. We're all about new, always new, always different, new, 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 constantly. Yeah. So you if really you see something like this. Too, which is cool. Yeah, well, I, I just like this. I mean, it's it's just a it's just a really unique look, but it's so massive. You know what? This would make a great cuff. I, Don't you well, think that would make a great did. cuff? Did you see that, Wouldn't TJ? That make a great I don't know cuff? if you can see your monitor, but I want everybody to really appreciate how big this pendant is. It would make the it's most massive. gorgeous cuff, by the way. <laughs> so I wanted you to see, you know, I'm a good old Midwestern girl. Um, I'm not petite in it by any sense of the manner, but look how, that is how big that pendant is, just to give you kind of perspective. Now, here's your quick update. If you want the Marine were less than a hundred left. That's almost sold out. I think, um, where are we, Andre, in the other two colors? In the malachite, and again, look at the quality of that malachite. You can really see the striation. We have less than 200, and then the pink one is the kunzite. I have less than 100 left here. So again, this is if you love bold, if you want something to fill a neckline. You can wear this much longer, so if you have a sterling silver chain, great. Put that on with it, and you are good to go. It'll look fabulous, really, and a very, especially if you have kind of a chunkier chain, and you wear this really long on a tunic, it would really fill that space. All right, now we are up to our this day only. And I'll give you a heads up on this one because this has been a fun show. I still have another launch coming up. It's called Black Oasis. It's very hard to find black gemstone jewelry that's gorgeous. You'll see that. And we have another launch coming up that you need to see. It's called the Banded Quartzite. So two more things that are brand new for you tonight. But this is one of those as well. This is our This Day Only. Oh, my goodness. It's so spectacular. Again, I said earlier, I've been blessed to work with Jay for many, many years now. Like, I love the guy. I've worked with him for like 18 years. I've never seen him do a stretch bracelet as bold as this one is. And we have two choices. We have this exquisite Labradorite. And even on the smallest screen, the littlest TV or on your phone, I hope you can really see how incredible the quality of, of this Labradorite is. It has such an essence to it. You can see all the colors just bursting out of it. It is real. This isn't your cloudy, you know, dark Labradorite. This is the good stuff. I have 300 left in the Labradorite. And then this is going to be your amber, which is really fun. He did an amber piece. If you like bold look, but you don't like weight on your wrist, you always want to go with amber. You get that look and you don't have any of the weight because amber is incredibly, incredibly light. All right, Jay. So look at you. I love it. These two turned out really spectacular. Well, you know what I love with this and um, that I, that um, this particular design. So you get a big, bold, kind of a stretch bangle look. Yeah. But, you know, anytime that you do bangles, you know, it's always a side issue, right? Uh, you know, and this, I, I can guarantee you, is like one size fits most, right? Yeah. Now, if you've got a really, really petite wrist, you might not want to go with this, all right? But if you've got a normal or larger wrist, uh, and, uh, uh, you know, yeah, this is the perfect, perfect design for you. I love this. You want to get noticed. You want to have something different. I guarantee you don't go out there in the marketplace and you don't see anything <laughs> like know. this. I was so <laughs> impressed with this. Uh, we started, you know, the, if, if you look, okay, so you, it's on your wrist and it looks really cool, okay? But what, what you really got it, what you don't see is the little nuances, the little things that really make this work. Okay, the size of the freeform uh, beads uh, or cabs that, you, uh, that we've cut in this to make uh, the bracelet. But look how precision they are and how they're cut and how well they align. That doesn't happen by accident, right? This, it's, it takes a lot of skill to be able to drill these and position them exactly. If you're off even a hair, one way or another, then the, it will be in crooked and it won't lay like that, right? So there's a lot of skill that goes into not only cutting them, but actually assembling them, putting together and being able to drill them. 
and and that's what I really uh, take so much pride in. Uh, what a great look. And this lavender, come on, are you kidding? So and good. that's in the worst lighting. That's in the worst light you could possibly show it in. <laughs> and look at it sparkle and gleam. Look at the color. That's look amazing. at the presence of it. Yeah. It's just intense. It is intense. That's a great word for it, actually. And you know what's really funny? If I got rid of every one of these cabs except the center one, look how impressive that would be as a cuff bracelet, just by itself. Like, that, that's just one, and you're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them, maybe? I, you know, I should probably do this officially. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's eight total. You're getting eight of these magnificent cabs, which one alone would make the most beautiful bracelet by itself. Really flexible, easy to wear. Um, I love it when Jay does the stretch style, because, again, no hooks, nothing to fiddle with. But I really like it if you're working on a computer. So let's say you're working on a mouse. You always want this flexibility so that when you lay your hand down, it's comfortable. It's not like a big bulky bangle that you have to take off while you're working on your computer. But again, it's really your choice. If you love amber, you love the fact it's super lightweight. I really love the story behind the amber because it's truly ancient, ancient. Then this is your option. I think amber looks amazing. Any browns back to turquoise, or excuse me, denims, one of my favorite color combinations. But also what I really like about the amber one as well, take it into the spring, take it into the summer. You're wearing it with your khakis, all the sand colors, the oyster colors that we love. All of those colors we love to wear in the spring and summer, the amber looks fantastic. And for a bold bracelet, it's incredibly light. Now, a lot of times, I know there are some of my friends who say, oh, you know what, I don't wanna really, I don't wear big, bold bracelets because they can tend to be heavy, quite frankly. Um, amber is perfect because you get that big, impressive look with a really ancient gemstone and you get an incredible lightweight, almost feels like it could float, Jay, because it does float. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that, that's actually uh, one of the techniques um, uh, that they use the well, um, for amber when they when they actually, yeah, they really mine it per se. They, they harvest it where they, um, you know, the Baltic amber, which is like pretty much a done deal. I mean, you know, if you know anybody, if you got a source, uh, Suzanne, on Baltic amber, uh, let's hook up later, okay? I really would love, I would love for you to share that for me, but uh, it's pretty much over in the Baltic. Um, uh, this, uh, all the amber that you're seeing here came, actually came from Ukraine. But uh, what you're saying is um, uh, true in the fact that's uh, part of the process is they break the amber loose from wherever it is on the bottom or wherever it's attached. And it's usually in water and it floats to the top. And then that's how they harvest it. Mm. Um, so I love the look of this. It's big. It's bold. Like you said, if uh, anybody who uh, maybe you don't like heavy things on your wrist, right? The amber's a perfect way to have something big and bold. You're wearing something that's that was created 30 to 50 million years ago. So OK, cool. so I which I find fascinating and interesting. And then the labradorite, just the quality of the labradorite, the yeah. The quality of the workmanship, the, the craftsmanship, the quality of the cutting on it is just phenomenal. And who doesn't want this? I guarantee you. Do you see it here now? It's blinging. I, I guarantee you this. Uh, you know, and here again, um, you know, you're you're going to be the, the final judge, right? You get this home. You take it out of the box. You put it on. You take it out and you put it in any kind of light. I don't care even in the house where you've got natural light, right? Any kind of natural light. And watch this thing come. It's just, it looks like it's going to be on fire. Um, so, it, you know, you've got that really, really intense color of uh, the intense okay. labradorescence. And we were really, really unfortunate um, to be able to cut these and, and really, really chase the fire lines in the labradorite and really get that that effervescence to come out, that fluorescence um, in the natural labradorite. Yes, you totally did it. I mean, he really, really did. And here's an interesting story, too. Um, Jay had a Today Special, which was a labradorite bracelet, had little teeny beads on it. It was multi-strand, multi and he had one piece of labradorite that was about about like that, about like the size of a quarter. I bought it. It was spectacular. I thought it was a great piece, and I love it. I wear it actually quite a lot. And it was probably, I would say, maybe Jay, 99 bucks. I can't quite remember what it was. You probably know better than I do. But I bought it and loved it, right? It, launched it, bought it, great. It's nothing compared to this. <laughs> I mean, if you really, really want the Labradorite piece, you want to make sure you get this before it is sold out. Because again, I mean, just the substantial, my beads on my little multi-strand are, you know, a quarter the side of just one of these beads. And again, I love that bracelet. It's beautiful. I wear it a lot. It's a completely different look. But in terms of value, I will tell you, this one blows that one away. It's, it's stunning. This is a tremendous savings on a spectacular, 
spectacular piece. Even the 168, our appraised value, our HSN deal, absolutely doesn't do this justice. I mean, where are you going to find anything like this amber, especially these really big pieces? And you can see, I get, even if you're looking on your phone, you're watching us, you, you, you can see how great the quality is of each and every piece of these and how they really did chase that fire they chased the sparkle really maximized what really great super high grade labradorite should look like i mean that's what you're seeing and that's what you're getting now again if you want the labradorite bracelet unfortunately we're now to a couple hundred left that's going to be gone here pretty quickly in the amber i'm just i'm just under 200 right now so i'm just under 200 left in the amber by the way i wanted to pop this little necklace up too because if you really are into amber or you want to try it we've got this necklace available and i think it was like 59 dollars. did i see that right yeah that's pretty amazing yeah it comes in it's a customer pick this is one of your favorites and we have 80 left in the necklace i'm just trying to find my details on it um and it is at 59.98 down from 110 dollars and there's 80 remaining again there's your extender on it by the way the necklace is a huge customer pick uh, Marianne in Florida says, I simply love this necklace. The size is just right and light on my neck. The beads are beautiful and sparkle. Nana said it's very beautiful and shows off in the sunlight. She <coughs> loves it. And Zoo Woman says she loves the beautiful amber color. Uh, it, it, feel, it looks like it's lit from within, which is funny, Jay, because this is identical to the one on my wrist. And when you do get it at home, you are out in the sunlight, you really see that unique amber glow. Right, it's cut from the exact same rough material. It, that's all Ukrainian material um, that uh, that we got. Oh, I'm gonna do this. What five years ago? Some of it uh, as recent. Yeah, I think that's the most recent that we actually uh, uh, were able to obtain. It is five years ago, and you know anybody who knows like what's going on in the amber world right now. Look at that. Um, amber is, is extremely rare. You don't find it on uh, most of the continents in the world. I mean, you know, so there's a very limited uh, area where you can actually find amber and uh, it's getting rarer and rarer. The uh, rough is getting more and more expensive. And uh, because of what's going on in Ukraine right now, um, that whole supply chain there from the miners is completely at a dead stop right now. So okay. um, we're, we're fortunate that we have material still in our private collection and we were able to do this uh, you know i love them both that that necklace by the way that those that's what they call cherry amber uh is you know it's that darker if you look at it, it even almost has a red connotation to it mm -hmm. um uh that is just beyond ridiculous Great. that price, price i mean right? you know that's uh, i mean <laughs> that that is you know as the manufacturer that that that's something that you could even do so a great deal. I still, I got to tell you, I'm in love with the Labradorite. That's what I'm in it's love with. It's spectacular. I, you know, I, I'm here in the sun, and, uh, you know, the monitor is uh, um, not really, you know, that easy to see. And I can see it gleaming and glowing from even that. Yeah. And you're having a tough time seeing your monitor. Uh, yeah, here's an update. The Labradorite's going to be the first to sell out. I have about 180 remaining. You kind of got to go now. You know, I know there's a lot of choices in today's show, and the, temp the gemstone and Tucson event is huge. But of all the Labradorite that I've ever seen Jay do, and he doesn't do it very often, actually, this is the most spectacular opportunity I've ever seen him give us. It, it really, really is. Um, in terms of the boldness, the beauty of the design, the quality of the Labradorite, the glow, they cut this perfectly. And that is a skill in and of itself to really bring out the natural beauty that's inherent in Labradorite. It's a very tough thing to do. And they have absolutely nailed it. It is ex exceptionally beautiful Labradorite. And it's really an option. You know, it's a color option. For me, Labradorite, the reason I bought it is I wear tons and tons and tons of gray. I love wearing gray. I use it as basically a neutral all the time. So I'm very attracted to Labradorite because of their presence of gray. But what you'll find interesting, and I'll grab my little swatches once again, is we've sold tons and tons of olive. Look what happens when I pop olive in front. Look at that. Look what happens. Okay, denim, sure, why not? But look at that. When olive gets in front of it, all those greens pop up. Let me put just a white behind it so you can see that. Oh, wow. And if I had, do I have a gray swatch? 
If I could reach my gray swatch, I would throw a gray back there because again, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna change hands. I, I need to be like an octopus and have more hands, but look what happens. See how all of a sudden all those, see the grays that sort of pop out from there when you stick a different color behind it? So very much like our, um, our uh, today's special, the Hubei, whatever color you put behind it kind of becomes, look at that with purple, oh my gosh. That, oh, and blue. You know what, let me do a blue blue. So again, as we go to spring, summer, okay, look what happened. Isn't that cool? Oh, look at that, see the blue right there that just popped? Isn't that neat? So I just, I just get excited about this stuff because I think it just gives you so many opportunities to wear so many different colors with it. And truly you guys obviously are recognizing just a, what a great value our this day only is. And remember, this is really important, especially if you're new, it's for today only. I mean, that's it, you got one day. Obviously this isn't gonna make it until later today. It's gonna sell out, but here's your one chance. Yeah, I've got 150 Labradorite left. I've got a little bit more than that in the amber. But again, this deal is good for a very, very limited time. If you like the necklace, oh, and you guys are, you're just like the customers who reviewed it. I've got 30 of the necklaces left, so this is also gonna sell out. Oh, I'm glad I had everybody bring this one out. Because again, if I put it up against my skin, you really see how pretty that color is and how much fun amber is to wear. You know what's funny, Jay? I really never get tired of talking about amber. I do find it, like you, incredibly fascinating. Well, you know, um, what I love, well, I, I love Labradorite and I love Amber both. That's why they, we selected these for these designs, okay? Uh, they both turned out amazingly well. And this is something brand new, again, that we're working with. We're, we're, um, we always try to be creative and innovative, not only in the materials that we're using, but our designs. And we're, we're always trying um, something new, something different that you don't see from other, um, from other designers. And uh, to be able to do these in these big, bold looks, hold the cost down, use the high quality materials and actually do a, a, a really super high quality, not only amber, but labradorite is always, you know, a challenge uh, and to keep your uh, quality consistent on it. I just love this big, bold look. It just effervesces, it, it talks to you. The amber there again, if you, if you don't like a lot of weight on your wrist, you know, like uh, a lot of people don't like that heaviness, uh, the amber is a perfect, perfect selection. For All you. right, Jay, we gotta move on because we have so many more cool pieces to show you. It is the season of love because Valentine's Day is around the corner. Um, by the way, the Labrador is gonna be sold out here in just a second. Um, update on our today's special matching button earrings. I have 70 left of these, so just wanna let you know. Those will not be in tonight's show the button ones. Um, but now we're gonna talk about love. Let's share a little love. And this is Australian Oasis Mica Stone Heart Jewelry. We've got the necklace and we have the matching earrings and they're wonderful. And this is another brand new launch that's happening right here for you. And Jay, you know what's really funny? At first glance, you might think malachite a little bit, uh, but it's not, is it? No, and it's not only that, it's, uh, you know, this has got a great story to it, right? <laughs> this comes out of the outback. And it's named uh, um, Australian Oasis because where they mine this, there's an oasis in the desert. You know, okay. a lot of people don't realize this. You know, uh, no, Australia, you know, the, uh, it, you know I, I fly. I, in fact, I've got an Australian pause license. Um, the, um, uh, what's amazing with Australia, if you're flying in the outback, You'd be cruising along, and if you're like me, I cruise a little lower than I probably should, right? <laughs> I just like to see the scenery. And so you'll see herds of camels, right? What? I mean, out there, There's right? There's camels in and the outback? They have camels like you would not believe. They brought that. them there, you know, for the, because it's a desert. <laughs> yeah. And you, um, where this is harvested, there's huh. we've got footage of it some somewhere. Every now and then I'll see it. And we were flying, we were actually in a little Robinson R44 uh, helicopter and going to um, another deposit that's located in the same uh, area. But we have a, a, from the air, we have a photo of that oasis. And it's an oasis with the palm trees and everything, like out of some, you know, out of some movie. Hey, right? Jay, excuse me real and, quick. Um, Sorry, Jay. In the amber pieces we just showed you, unfortunately, the necklace is now sold out. We're still okay with the bracelet if you want to get that amber bracelet. So I'm sorry, Jay. So there's literally an oasis. Is this a little pond? Is it a lake? What is it? No, it's no, it's an oasis. Like it's naturally fed spring huh. in the desert. And of course, you know, they get you know, people don't realize this, but if you ever tromp the desert like I have a few times, uh, the, when you find water holes in the desert, uh, I guarantee you at night and during the day, you're gonna have other visitors besides you. Right, because <laughs> so, that's where everybody's going. Right, that's, funny. that's you know that's that's the source, and what makes this so unique 
is the coloration of it. But this actually, if you look really close, you'll see and when you get this in bright light or, or just even white lights, it's got mica schist inside of it. So it's got little like mirrors of mica that sparkle and gleam. It's really a unique material. This is a mine find. Um, this is something here again, I'm at the world's largest gem and mineral show on planet Earth. And I think you would be probably hard pressed to find this, anybody that had this material. There probably is some of this material somewhere here, but you, you'd be hard to, uh, pressed to find any kind of volume or anybody that had anything but maybe a specimen or maybe had a sample or something. I, I've never seen anybody actually put this in jewelry. That's another thing that we do. Um, you know, we have a golden rule. If it's got color and takes an amazing polish, it's fair game for our jewelry <laughs> designs. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, this, uh, and that's, I think that that's one of the cool things we're known for. But do you see that? Do you see the gleam on this? Yes. The glow? I mean, like I said, I have a hard time, you know, with this, even in the monitor, you're like, it's kind of blacked out here because of the sunlight. And I could still see that gleam, that, that amazing color and that amazing, amazing. Jay, you still there? Did I lose my Jay? Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> no, I. Okay, I thought we lost you. All right, we have one more I item to show talk you, and this is another launch. I told you it was gonna be a jam-packed show, and this is a really fun piece, because we go a completely different direction than anything you've seen in our two hours tonight with Jay. Uh, this is called the Multicolor Banded Quartzite Necklace. It's one of those wow, spectacular pieces. And you, gosh, when you put it on, you almost feel like royalty. You know, they have those great big necklaces they wear, and they're beautiful. That's, I think, how you're gonna feel, but you'll definitely get the compliments and the questions, because it is so unique. So I've got the necklace 18 inches. You do have the extender on the back and we have the matching sterling silver earrings. Jay, another launch. You guys have been really busy for this Tucson event. Okay. Well, you know, this is a brand new material from Indonesia. Oh, interesting. I don't know of anybody else that has this. And I, this is another, you know, not sound like a broken record. Um, you'd be hard pressed to find this. This isn't a material that's on the commercial market at all. That's a natural banding. Um, this is one of these statement pieces, you know, and we design around this. And the reason we designed this the way we did is because we wanted to show that the feature that this has is the natural banding to it. And it is so unique and so different. So we wanted to kind of do something that was kind of big and bold. So you could that would really, really uh, accent the fact that that it has that natural look to it, that natural banding to it. These are uh, the the kind of pieces that you're wearing. They're statement pieces. I guarantee you, when you walk into a room, everybody's going to come up and they're going to go, "Oh my gosh, you know what? What is that? What is you know that, what? Yeah. What material is that?" And this is a brand new mine find, and it comes out of Indonesia. Mm -hmm. And I love the close up that Chris just showed you too, because you can really see that banding effect. Now, again, I always look at jewelry. And I think we all do and go, hmm, now what can I wear that with? How many things can I wear it with? And I immediately thought of all my Marla Wynn pieces. I have a ton of her layered pieces, all those beautiful, and again, I've got the oyster, we've got the sand, all those taupey lighter colors, just gorgeous. I love there's a little bit of a minty green in this, in those layers that you see, see that minty kind of green. Look how you go into more of a taupe here. If you have, a, I wear a ton of ivory, even the dead of winter, I'm wearing ivory. And whites would look unbelievable. So again, it could be that crisp white blouse that you have and it's filling the neckline or it could be, you know, you've got a beautiful, like again, you've got a lot of Marlowe pieces and all those beautiful sand colors. This is going to be one of those high-end looks. Like you, I'd see a woman in it and I thought, oh my gosh, she must go to the really expensive boutiques and really exotic places. and she must have found that. And Jay, I think this is what really that represents for me is something you might find in just some unusual store or somewhere in the world. Well, you know, that that's where we all started. You know, mm -hmm. like I said, we design everything in house. We manufacture everything from the raw materials from scratch in our, in our, under our roof. I mean, we don't, um, you know, we're, you know, we, we take great pride in our skill and what we do for, um, for a living. And this is what I love finding unique, different materials that nobody else either has or has seen or has ever used in jewelry and then then designing something in this case 
Another thing too is, you know, if you think about it, we design around the material. So in this case, we wanted to make sure that we, that we, the, the really uh, big thing with that, this particular material is the natural banding. Mm -hmm. So you want to design a big bold piece and you want big free form looks so that um, when you display this and when you're accessorizing with it, that's what's coming out of it. That's what makes it so unique and so special. And again, just a quick update. It's 18 inches long, two and three quarter inches, always the silver extender. If you haven't seen that, there it is in the back. These are the pieces that you get the compliments on. These are the ones that you wear and people just go, I'm sorry, I don't know you, but you've got to tell me where did you get that. And I hope you make up a big fat lie. <laughs> I hope you say you were in Indonesia and you found it in this fabulous store. Or you're like, oh, no, no, I was in a five-star hotel and they had it in their little gift shop because it's the high-end gift shop you can't afford to shop in. But this is going to be one of those, I promise you're going to open the box and go, oh, it's so good. All right, Jay, we love you so much. Thank you for giving us a glimpse into your world and the world of Tucson on today yeah we'll be back on uh with adam for three hours tonight uh nine eastern uh time and we're going to be back it'll be dark and cold and we'll be back at the fireplace <laughs> well i'm so happy we got the view this afternoon yay thanks we Jay. did we this love for you, you. we did you. this for you oh. <laughs> Hey, by the way, join me at 8 o'clock tonight. Go to HSN's Facebook page. Look at my face and my guest's face and join us for a really creative experience. That's at 8 p.m., so I'll return, but I'll be on my Facebook live show, so I will see you then. Miss D.